I'm gonna play around with product that I've been obsessed with for 2023. I'm not saying this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna use these products, but I was going through my collection and I was like, okay. Other than the items that I'll be featuring in my top fives, there are definitely products that I've tried and fell in love with. They're just beautiful, formulations, they're gonna help make any makeup look beautiful, smooth, flawless, you already get the drill. So let's come on closer, let's dive on in. Before I started makeup application, all I could think was, what if I don't like any of these products anymore? Just because I liked them so much throughout the year doesn't mean I'm still gonna like them today. What if they suck? Were they ever any good or are they still good? I don't know, I was slightly concerned. But anyway, let's move on. As a reminder, my giveaway is currently live. It's only gonna be up for one week. I wanna choose my winners. I wanna send out the products really, really fast. It is my holiday giveaway. I'm really happy I'm able to give back to you guys. Make sure you check out the video where I'm announcing the giveaway. I am linking it up here and it'll also be linked in the description box below. Okay, my chica boom booms. The Silk Protein Primer by Kat Berkey. We like her. We more than just like her. To the point, I ended up getting another one off of Ipsy because it was affordable. When I snacked it, it was 12 doll hairs. I've had really dry skin, so I did my skincare last night. I also wore on um, the pharmacy like night mask on the skin. I woke up looking fantabulous. This primer not only smooths everything out, it has like some anti-aging benefits to it, skincare benefits to it, but it freaking smells amazing. I got this earlier this year and I've been like bragging about it for quite some time. I know you guys saw my top five must-have foundations, Jotty approved makeup artist must-have. But then once I edit the video, I was like, crap. People are gonna ask what the heck happened to the Laura Geller. I know, it was in my face, but you know what? I'm gonna redeem myself. Cause in that case, that video would have ended up being my top six. This is beautiful. She has a very nice dent in her. I ended up snagging two backups. That's how much I love this foundation. And I think in the moment I completely forgot about her, not because I don't love her anymore, but because I'm going through this really dry phase with my skin, I was just thinking liquid foundations, liquid foundations, and that's really the only reason why I happen to forget about this one in that very moment. I decided it just makes sense to feature it in a video with other faves of mine and justify and explain why, why, why did I forget? I think my summer tan has faded because for a second there, this shade looks darker on me than normal, but it's okay because once I apply my concealer and stuff, it all balances out and it looks fantastic. I've been liking the fresh brow look, not filling it in, not doing anything, like my natural brows just sculpted because since I did the brow lamination, they're behaving now. So I'm gonna use Benefits Fluff, Fluff, I always wanna say Fluffable, Fluff Up Brow Wax. I will comb this through le brow like this. I let it sit for a second because my brow lamination is somewhat fading. I will make sure to list all these products below for you guys. And I'll just kind of comb through the front to sculpt her. And then I'll clean around the brows with concealer. Concealer. I've tried so many and so many are so good. I'm really obsessed with several of them. But my main one that I've used so far this year is gonna be the Perfect Cover by Ofra Cosmetics in Medium Golden. This is my fifth one this year. The formula is just where it's at. It's gonna brighten. In. It's gonna set, it's gonna balance out your under eye. The applicator is really nice. Freaking love this formula. Technically, you can go without setting it. I always do, but you can go without setting it because it does have some priming properties to it. So once it sets, it sets and it's supposed to be non sticky and it shouldn't crease either. And I'm set in my ways. So I will always go in and apply a little bit of powder. By the way, yesterday's video not only contained the giveaway, but I also share my skin prep steps in order to get a beautiful flawless finish when it comes to applying makeup. And I know sometimes people have dry skin, oily skin, and you're questioning, but what am I supposed to do? Check out that video, I have a ton of tips and tricks. And as I mentioned a few minutes ago, I am going through some dry skin situation right now. And the steps from yesterday's video are the ones that I'm following in order to get that beautiful seamless finish on the skin once I'm done with my makeup. I highly recommend you check it out, especially if you're living in cold areas, you have dry skin, the holidays are coming, you want your makeup to look flawless, girl, just 
Go check it out. Thank me later. I'm going to pull out a setting powder that we haven't talked about since earlier this year. And there has been a purpose as to why I haven't done it. And now I'm kind of going back and forth as to what I want to do. Jaclyn Hill Squad. This is so loved. Look at what that baby looks like. It was between this one or the Ofra powder, but I feel like you guys have seen enough of the Ofra powder so far this year. So I was like, let me give them something different. You've also seen a lot of the Gerard Cosmetics powder and most recently the Huda Beauty powder. This powder has always been absolutely stunning. My main reason for not using it as much is because of Miss Jacqueline. I genuinely like Jacqueline. I think it's kind of hard not to, but at the same time, it's also hard to trust her. There's always something that's going on, whether she's allegedly stealing other people's ideas and or brands and stuff like that. And so I just feel like, oh my God, I love the formulas. I love the product, but I don't wanna keep supporting people who just come off like they're being selfish to the world. And I'm not saying that she is, I'm saying, there's just so much going on and so much being said that it's hard to know what to believe. But this formula is amazing and I feel like I've been wanting to get another one and I, I think, I may be wrong, but now they're selling like the individuals. Maybe even the quad that they're selling now is magnetized so you can just replace the one. I have to triple check because I feel I really, like for me, for me, these are the two powders I want. They're so stinking good. But I also know that she's shutting down her brands or just did, there's, you hear what I'm saying? Like you just never know. So because of that, I'm like, I shut down. But I love that powder and I love her liquid lip formula. Amazing. For bronzer, I'm going to use my Vesca. It is in Kissed by Deani. It is gonna look like that. Look, I hit pan. No. No one has this like that anymore. And I'm scared of buying off of like AliExpress and eBay and stuff like that. But this formula was everything and still is. It is the perfect shade. It is so buttery and soft and pigmented. The perfect shade for me. There are definitely other bronzers that I really like. Americano by Ofra Cosmetics and Hula by Benefit Cosmetics. Like that was just to name a few. There's so many that are really good. This is the one that I've been using literally the majority of the year. Y'all already know I'm gonna go in with Fair by Gerard Cosmetics. I am gonna list all these products for you guys. Uh, the links are gonna be affiliate links. However, you don't have to use my links. If you don't want to, it is perfect fine but I like to be transparent with you guys if you use the links in the description box they are affiliated therefore I'll get some sort of commission as a referral because I'm referring you over to their website I have Gerard Cosmetics discount code as well as a code with Ofra do you absolutely need to use those no you really don't and it's perfectly fine but if you choose to use them it helps me out and I get a little bit of a referral like commission if you will and if you do, I'm grateful. I do have a bundle with Gerard Cosmetics right now. You're getting a liquid lip, two lip liners, and a clean canvas in fair. The bundle goes for $35. It has a retail value of 72 bucks. So that's freaking, that's a, that's a steal. This eye base has been the best. I've tried so many other ones, the Tres Luce. I've tried ColourPop, so many. And nothing compares to my Gerard Cosmetics. Just putting it out there. Favorite palette. How could she not be my favorite palette? My first version was very poppy and I didn't love it. I, I thought it was nice and I was like, I'll use it. Yeah, absolutely. But I wasn't obsessed with it. And then when I came up with this version, this version is the one that has two blushes and a highlight and a topper. And I was just like, yeah. I got really creative with this version. I'm really happy with it. It is still available over on the Ofra website. You can use my discount code to save some money. My lip trio is also available over at the Ofra website. Yes, you can use discount codes, save some money. And it makes me happy that you guys have also tried her and love her. I'm gonna go in to the powdered blush, Warrior. And I'm gonna bring it all the way in here. Bring it up to the brow and pull it out. I'm gonna grab an angled brush. I'm gonna dip into Compassion. I'm gonna tap Compassion on the inner portion of the eye and then also on the outer third. And I'm gonna grab a teeny tiny brush. This one is by P. Louise and I'll diffuse that edge just a smidge. It's a, like a red vino color. And y'all already know we're gonna go deeper, right? With a slim fluffy brush, I'll dip into triple black. I'm gonna tap some of that out here and very carefully in the inner corner, but I'm not dragging it, just in the inner corner. Back to that teeny tiny brush. I'm gonna drag some forward, 
drag some backward. Back to the brush we used on the blush. No additional product. I'm just gonna kind of go in circular motions. Then with a flat synthetic brush, I'm going into Rodeo Drive. I'll tap that directly on the center. And then I'll go in with that teeny tiny brush and blend whatever's left on that brush onto that Rodeo Drive just a smidge because I want this to be seamless. Then I'm going into Glisten. Look how stinking pretty that is. And I'm going to do a little tap of Glisten on either side. Now I'm gonna grab this brush. I got it off of Timu. It was a two pack. It's like a dollar something. These things are amazing. I'm gonna go into triple black. I'm going to tap triple black as close to the lash line as possible. That way I can add a little bit of depth to the lash line. With the P. Louise brush, no additional product, whatever's left on there. Girl, we've got some black, we've got some red. We've got some of that blush shade. And I just drag it down here. And because the blush that I'm obsessed with is in my palette, we're going to skip the mascara and go straight to the blush. Listen, little Yachty asked whether or not I could include a cream blush in this palette because they had never done that before, never expecting for them to say yes. The moment they said, yeah, you can put all yours in a palette. What? I was freaking out look how pretty it's non-sticky it is so pigmented blendable it's not gonna disrupt your foundation your bronzer your under eye powder it's just gonna all blend in look beautiful it just goes with every look smoky everyday neutral it just looks amazing i still can this is this has been a goal of mine for the longest time to be able to work with a brand like ofra i'm really happy let's go in with some highlight very lightly we're gonna do Rodeo Drive. If it's in this palette, it's because it's a must have and it's a fave. I didn't need to go and get a full size highlighter even though I do have Rodeo Drive full size. It's in here. For mascara, I keep talking about her because she is freaking fantabulous, okay? The best mascara I've tried. There's so many that are really, 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 really good. Hands down, this is gonna be number one for me. You're able to go lightweight. You can add the drama, add the lashes. Do you see what I'm saying? That mascara will make you look like you have the most wispiest of wispiest lashes naturally. So pretty. Okay, now we have to move forward to the last step, which is going to be the lips. Do you guys remember my Dragon Beauty 2.0 CCs? Listen, there are certain items that I'm so obsessed with that I will remember their freaking name because they're that amazing, okay? This is probably pencil number three that I've had to sharpen this far down. I have an extra one over there. I don't leave my house without it. She needs a little bit of sharpening. Hold on. This is gonna be the perfect go-to easy nude lip liner. And I think that's why I love it so much because it goes with any and every lip combo you wanna do. To complete the lip combo, I'm gonna use Fuzzy from Ofra Cosmetics. This is their Flexi Slick. And this is going to be one of the three lippies that you'll get in my lip bundle if you were to snag it off of Ofra's site. Look how wearable and pretty this combo is. When this launched in October, I told you guys, this is what y'all needed for these cold months because my lips look juicy and they're looking good. When in reality, I know that they're so dry and chapped. They're like the Sahara Desert. I feel pretty, not even sensual, just I feel pretty. I have a little challenge for you guys and all I need you to do is let me know in the comments section if you accept the challenge. I challenge you to go through your collection and grab the products that have been ride or die for you in 2023. Use them all to create a look. Come back to this video and let me know whether or not they're still ride or dies. Did you change your mind? Were you like ill? What the hell was I thinking earlier this year? I've learned more about this formula and I personally don't like it anymore. Like I wanna hear your thoughts. Do you still love the products that you tried earlier this year? Now at the end of the year. I personally do, like everything is still amazing. And that says a lot because I get to try a lot of product. Now it is time we say hello to our channel members, the G-Squad. This lovely group of people here on screen along with me have joined the channel memberships, have become G-Squad members and are supporting this channel at a higher level. When you become a member, YouTube will provide you with your own community page, provide you with a badge, letting everyone else know that you are a channel member here and will highlight your comments in all the videos. When joining channel memberships, you unlock exclusive perks like additional videos, behind the scenes, photos, little chats that we may have, and 
additional giveaways. So if you're ever interested in joining channel memberships, all you need to do is click that join button below this video. If you don't see it here, not a problem. You can always find it in the description box of my videos. Don't forget to enter that giveaway that is live. We're gonna have two winners. The link to that video is going to be in the description box as well. You'll see two playlists pop here on screen that has way more beauty content I think you're really gonna enjoy. So I hope you check it out and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.